Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Fargo Dome. It's the quarterfinals of the FCS playoffs. Along with Jeff Kolpak, I'm Tom Izzo. The Bison student section is behind us, <laughs> and they're ready to go, but we're missing somebody. Who? Who? I don't know. There's only one guy. Where is he? I think he's in there. Look at this. <laughs> he gets his own entrance. Of course, he's the student favorite one, Ole Anderson. I got, Eric lost, I got lost, man. It's pandemonium back there. We are ready to go as the Bison get set to host Wofford in the FCS quarters. The Terriers come in, Jeff, runners of the triple option. It's a little bit different, though, than what Bison fans remember with Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern had three backs, effectively, that they like to showcase. This is a one-man show, statistically, you know, put it that way. Eric Breitenstein, 1,900 yards, a Walter Payton finalist, obviously the go-to guy. I'll be interested to see how they get him the ball and how they get him the ball and find some space. Now, E, the biggest thing last year, remember, against Georgia Southern was the fact that Colton Hegel had the game of his life. He and Levon Perry not playing today. How big of a factor is that for NDSU? I don't know if it will be a factor, but it'll be interesting to see how the guys who fill in for him do. I mean, Colton Hegel is in that alley all day long making plays. Levon Perry is dynamic in the middle of that uh, defensive line. He's He's like one guy you can probably like, you know, stop the, the dive play by himself. So maybe the, it takes two or three guys in the middle to stop that dive play. It opens up things on the outside. Now Brock Jensen will make his 32nd straight start today. Jeff, he's going to gut it out despite the fact he's got a couple of torn tendons in his non-throwing hand. And that's the biggest reason in my mind the Bison are in this round for the third straight year. Brock is hurt in the playoffs, so what else is new? <laughs> he's, he's hurt in 2010. He had the turf toe last year. Like I say, I think it's almost good omen. This guy's just... Uh, uh, cut above the rest when it comes to toughness. You mentioned his record early in the season, but it's, I mean, going into today, 25-2 and two in his last 27 games as a starter, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, last year he did it with throwing efficiency. This year he started that way, struggled a little bit throwing the ball, but he's done it with some guts, you know, some big run plays when he's needed them. So he's just the guy who makes plays when they need him to. Now, you mentioned these people behind us are going to be a huge factor in today's game. They are already ready to go as the student section. Your column today was about the 12th man. What is that going to be a factor in today's game? Well, I actually did a little study on that. Talked to uh, the associate professor of architecture, the chair of the department. He said these guys are louder than 85,000 people in Florida. Yeah! And that's simply because we're inside here today. Well, it's, in that, it's called reverberance. It's called, you have the, uh, the hard reflecting surfaces. You got a lot of people in a, in an enclosed space, and it just gets uh, freaking loud in there. <laughs> Reverberance, the first time we've heard that here uh, on the Bison Free Game Show all season line. It's time for Saturday selections. We lead off with Mr. Anderson. What do you got here today? Well, I didn't have two weeks to prepare this week, so I really had to. It was really a tough week. It was hard to prepare, but I did come up with something. This week, I know I, know I take off my clothes. Take off your clothes, but I am bringing out the bow tie this week. <laughs> Kevin Schneff, our sports editor, talked about how students at Wofford wear bow ties and sport jackets to their games. It's too cold for a sundress today, so I didn't do that. <laughs> Unluckily for Wofford, the Bison defense isn't going to be as hospitable as I am right now. Bison 28, Wofford 17, and a cast of 1,000 students behind us making all this noise. Yeah! There you go. <laughs> You look fabulous there. They love him. I think the Bison can, can contain Eric Breitenstein today. He may get 100 yards, but he's the one-man guy that they've got to stop. I like the Bison winning this game 27-16. to 16. How do you follow this up? You say fabulous? He looks like, I don't know about that. You know, I appreciate the Wofford traditions and everything, but that's an 80s. That's a tradition thing. I'm more about the, the current, the Bison app. Here's my pick. <laughs> He's a fan favorite. What These people. The game day app. NDSU 24, Wofford 7. There you go. These people behind us are ready to roll. The Bison pregame show wrapping up. Our live blog begins at half an hour. These guys are ready to go. We'll have complete highlights and reaction, and then we'll be back post game as the Bison and Wofford meet in the FCS quarters.